So people have been asking me about um, my girlfriend lately because I've been m mentioning her um, in the videos that I've been doing lately. Um, and some people have been making some really ridiculous statements and I feel like I need to address them. I mean, I don't need to address them because I don't need to really prove anything to anybody. I'm going to read a couple of comments that I got from a few people. I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna read the comments. I'm gonna put it up on the screen. I'm not gonna I'm gonna block I'm gonna block out the name and the picture though, because I don't wanna put anybody on blast. So here's the one it says, I'm surprised you are talking about your girlfriend and I saw your daughter and not marriage or not married are both of sleeping together, which you and me know is a sin. What is going on? Please, please, if you guys are on someone's channel or on someone's video, please do not assume anything. Please do not assume that you guys know my personal life because we all know that you don't know my personal life, right? So please, I'm, I'm asking you guys um, humbly, do not assume that you know my personal life, okay? Here is another one. Here, and this is the one that I, I really want to talk about. She says, Tilla, no disrespect or judgment. I prayed for you and donated to your ministry and praise God that you are leading people to Christ. However, lately you always mention your girlfriend even more so than your daughter. Okay, first of all, no disrespect to that person who, who made that comment. Um, just because I don't mention my daughter does not mean that I don't love my daughter. Okay, I just don't want her to be in the spotlight as much as I used to put her in the spotlight. Okay, she's growing up now and I don't want people to to see her because I am in, in this position where a lot of people are watching these videos that I'm on. There's a lot of crazy people out there and I don't, I, I, I don't want, I want less of my daughter's face in these videos, especially because a lot of people watch these videos. Okay, I did do a, a live stream with her not so long ago. I think it was three weeks ago, um, but that was a live stream. Okay. I mean, since when is it a requirement for me to mention my daughter, my daughter's name in a video just to prove to her that I love her or just to prove to anybody that I love my daughter? It's not a requirement. My daughter knows that I love her. God knows that I love my daughter. That's it. I don't need to prove to anybody else. Nobody else matters. So please, enough about my daughter, especially for those of you guys who really don't know me personally. Okay, let's go on. Also, I feel as if you have not been as engaged or as passionate as you used to be. I'm not judging you. She seems great and very helpful, talking about my girlfriend, but I am praying for her and you. Jesus is our rock, like you said. He should he should be, I guess she's trying to say that he should be the only focus of for this channel. I pray that she is truly God's chosen for you and that you both lean on Christ and not just on each other. God bless y'all. Thank you for the words of encouragement. Thank you for the concern. If you guys can only see what I've been doing and, and, the, and the work that I've been putting into this ministry and into um, the movie, uh, the new movie Prevail that's coming out. Some of you guys have really have no clue how much time and dedication and hard work I've been putting into this movie. I'm going to show you guys right now. So as you guys can see, this is stage two, okay? This is stage two of the editing of Prevail, okay? I, I edit in stages. Stage one is already done. Um, that's already rendered in 4K. It took me about two to three months to, to edit everything. In stage one, this took me about two to three months as well to edit this thing. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of you see that there's a lot of cuts. There's a lot of cuts. You see this? A lot of cuts. You see how there's there's so many cuts there. I manually cut these things so that they look nice and presentable. Okay, I manually cut these these things. Not only that, but if you go here. Look at this. I color correct every, if if I don't if I turn this off, you see the screen? If I turn these off, I lose all the color correction, right? And so I manually color correct everything so that it looks nice and presentable for you guys. 
the audio as well. Audio. I manually cut the frequencies that are um, clashing into the music and things like that. These things take a while to do. As you can see, I highlighted from start to beginning. It's 45 minutes. You see that right here? 45 minutes. Okay. And this took months and months. I had to wait for the animation. All the animations, I had to wait for it. I had to wait for, uh, if you guys, if you guys remember, um, all of these, this is the Bible animations. All of the, all of these and these as well, these two. And some of this, I think. That's these were the these were the yellow uh, highlighted parts. Those were the ones that I had to redo because the files got deleted mysteriously. Okay, and it took us about two weeks. I think it was two weeks to redo everything. All right, and all these cut. You see all these cuts. You see how many cuts that that is. All these cuts right here. You see how many cuts that is. You see that? Those are so many cuts that I have to make and it took me hours and hours and months to do. I had to I had to wait for the animation to get done. And um, you cannot tell me that this is not dedication. This is not passion right here. You cannot tell me that that is not. And not only that, um, I started on stage three as well. Okay, I started on stage three. Um, it's, stage three is not done yet. Stage th stage three is the final stage. Um, it's almost done. You guys can see it's almost done. That's the only thing I have to cut. Um, and this took me about another month to do, just to get everything precisely how I want it, and everything perfect, the audio perfect. Um, the the color correction perfect, Bible Bible scripture uh, animations. I had to do it all by myself. Well, me and my girlfriend. Um, but I did the bulk of the work. Everything I had to do. I had to do it perfectly, and I had to I had to double check, triple check to make sure that I have the right scripture. Um, I spelled everything correctly, and things like that. So. You cannot tell me that this is not dedication right here. You cannot tell me that this is not dedication. This is a lot of work. This is a lot of work. And there are a couple of things like this part right here. These parts where you, where you see um, the audio where this it's the audio is here. A lot of them I had to go to the studio and actually record it there. So it's it's a lot of work. It's a lot of time and dedication. With the videos, the small videos, yeah, sure. I'm not as passionate as, as I am with the smaller videos because I'm putting all of my time and effort and dedication to this right here, to this movie. Okay? So please, again, please do not assume things. Um, check up on me. Um, email me if, if you want, if there's something that you, you, want me to, you want to talk to me about. You guys can always email me, A-T-T-I-L-A, at School for Profits, that's P-R-O-P-H-E-T-S, dot TV. Okay, you guys can email me there. We're almost done with the, with the movie. Look at this face. <laughs> We're almost done with the movie. I got one more segment I got to do at the end of this. And uh, it's only 20-minute segment. And that's it. And I'm waiting for the animation now. And I'm also uh, trying to get the... Bible verse animations done, trying to double check that everything is um, in its uh, proper place and everything is spelled correctly and things like that. Okay, so I really hope that that answered your guys' questions. Um, there are some more ridiculous uh, comments. I'm not going to address them because they're just over the top with it. I've turned down high paying jobs to do this thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, of course, I do. I do take some uh, some some jobs that you know, some painting jobs and things like that because I do need to provide for myself and my daughter, um, and also my girlfriend sometimes. 
if if she's hungry. But um, you know, I have there are a lot of times where I had to turn down some jobs, um, and I just had to put my faith and put my trust in God, and say, hey, God, if you if this truly is for me, if this is really what I need to do, um, to show people this movie, then I will have faith in you that you will provide for me. And time after time, God has provi provided for me. Time after time. And so I'm putting my trust in God. I'm putting my faith in God that He will provide for me, even if I have to turn down some jobs, just so that I can get God's work done first. God's work has to be done first. God's work first, before my own work. God's work first. This is all I know to this is all I know how to do. <laughs> this is what I do. This is what I do. This is all I do actually. And um so I just showed you guys that prevail is almost done. All of my time and dedication is going towards prevail. I'm sorry for some of the, for some of you guys who are not satisfied with some of the smaller videos that I've done um lately. Um I am sorry that I haven't been doing Bible study videos lately, but all of my time and effort, all of my dedication is going towards the, the movie. And everything that God has shared with me, I'm sharing with you guys through that movie anyway. So it doesn't make sense for me to do another, a, a little smaller Bible study videos and things like that if everything I'm going to say is going to be in the movie anyway. You know what I mean? So please be patient. I know that it does look kind of bad that I'm not, I'm not as consistent with those smaller videos as I used to be, but that's because there's a bigger movie um, that I believe is going to touch more people than those smaller movies ever will, than those smaller videos ever will. Just take a look at From Babylon's America. From Babylon's America touched more people. It touched more people, and, and we got more people to, to, to get baptized. I mean, I just witnessed a baptism in my own church, and one of the sparks was because they watched the movie from Babylon's America. And I believe that that's my calling. Not, not just the smaller Bible study videos, but the bigger movies. So I just want to thank everybody who have donated and have supported this ministry and have engaged with me through the emails and things like that. Thank you guys so much for the support. Thank you guys for the donations. Um, thank you guys for the the, the, the words of encouragement um, through emails and letters and things like that. And if you guys want to send me letters as well, I'll put the P.O. Box uh, number and address and all that good stuff in the description below. So if you guys were blessed by this, please like and share. Especially share the movie that's coming out, Prevail. Share the trailers. And if you guys want more Christian content, make sure you guys subscribe and make sure you guys hit the bell so you guys don't miss any uh, videos. And of course, if you guys want to support this ministry, please, please, please pray for this online video ministry and donate at schoolforprofits.tv. We will take the donation money and we will advertise from Babylon's America and Prevail and all the other Bible study videos that we have on this channel. Thank you guys again. Praise God always. Peace out.